We got the goods. Why is it so bright? Hello. You guys, I'm back. Debbie is back and I'm so, so excited to, I'm like obsessed with this robe. MEJ, thank you. Look at, look, they customized it. It's so cute. So I am back. We have a lot to chat about and I'm getting ready because I have a coffee meeting at 11 and then I have a really, really exciting Dyson event that I'm excited for because I've never worked at Dyson before. So this is like crazy. Sorry if I look a little bit cuckoo. I'm so excited to be talking to you guys today because look how cute. I missed you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna do my skincare really quick, which first of all, Shani Darden is the best like, skincare line that I've tried in a really long time. And for my dark skin girls, get Shani Darden. It is so good for hyperpigmentation. It really evened out my skin. Like her stuff is so amazing. I'm like shook. I'm using the eye cream, which is actually really amazing. My eyes have been so dry with allergies. It's insane. Like I don't understand. These allergies are dragging me by the hair. The first thing that I want to talk about is my moving situation you guys know i moved here last february and you know love my place i think it's great but also you know i was single and blah 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 I'm dating my boyfriend for now a year i moved here a year and a half ago and i don't really sleep here i sleep at his and you guys this apartment is like very small and obviously i'm so grateful to be living in new york city and to be living in manhattan and to be able to work hard and afford these things on my own and i'm so beyond grateful and i will never lose sight of that but at the same time it is a very small apartment so then i extended my lease because we have some talks of back in the day of like moving in with my boyfriend and I've always been someone that like, I don't know about the idea of moving with a boyfriend, like either it works or it doesn't. It depends on the person and the relationship. So then time goes on, time goes on. And I'm like, you know what? I could really move in with my boyfriend because like we're in a very serious relationship. Sorry guys, I had to change my whole setup situation because my camera died. So I need to use another freaking camera. So my boyfriend and I were like, okay, let's move in together. So I wait for his lease to be done right his lease is supposed to be done like i think in august or july and my lease was already done back in february and i was like okay like i can extend it no big deal whatever so i don't want to spill too many details because i also want to respect you know people's privacy and everything but basically in my building i've had a problem and a situation with my packages being stolen i don't think anyone's packages should be stolen with the nature of my career it just really affects it because you know it's very critical these packages and not just pr but even if you have like a brand partnership or whatever and i'm asking my super what the heck is going on who's stealing these packages can i see the camera footage what is going on this is like not okay like no one's packages should be stolen to this extent then to find out that there's someone specific specific stealing my packages. That was a very traumatic situation because it was almost like a violation of privacy. I was like, what the heck is going on right now? So basically in my building, there's an area where you can leave, like Amazon leaves packages in the middle of the area where like people could easily steal. And you know, living downtown, you have to be very careful about your packages. Long story short, I had to confront the person. The person was caught on video. Thankfully my boyfriend handled it all for me and was like, look, like, enough is enough because I'm someone that just, I feel like people think they can walk all over me because I'm like, oh, it's fine, no big deal. Like, I don't really put my foot down with certain things. So I was like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. Probably it's someone from the street, someone from the street. My boyfriend was like, no, we're gonna figure out who it is. We're gonna investigate. After that whole situation, which was a lot for me to handle because it's like violation of privacy and you know, this person knows who I am. I don't even think that would have ever happened to me. I don't think of myself as this like huge, huge figure like Kim Kardashian that like, oh my God, she lives here. Like, no, like I'm nobody, you know? And I basically was like, we need to move immediately. I am moving June 10th and I'm so excited. So that's the big update is that there is going to be a moving series that I'm going to be doing. And you guys know me, I love like interior design and I love moving and like you know decorating a new place and everything i never felt like my place was to my standards you know like decoration wise 
So I really want to thrift more and I really want to get like a bunch of secondhand pieces to add into the apartment. So I'm really excited for this new chapter to move. So I'm not saying exactly yet where I'm moving, but it's going to be a nice different change of scenery. So I'm so excited about that. I think it'll be really good. Let's move on to the next topic. So you guys ask for my hair all the time. I have tape and extensions. So I got keratin on my own hair to make it more straight and more manageable. So I fully recommend using tape extensions if you guys wanna get into extensions. I feel like that's a good intro level to start. And then obviously you can experiment with different type of other extensions, but I really like it. I think it's really nice and you can wash it whenever. And even though the maintenance is a little frequent for my taste, it's really nice. I like it. I think it's really good. I use a Moroccan oil line because you have to use sulfate free. So I really enjoy the Moroccan oil line. It smells delicious, obviously. And I really lately have been loving the K18 oil that's really really good i feel like it's so nice because it defrizzes your hair and you really don't have to put that much and it really just makes a really big difference and especially with like the health of the extensions it makes it really nice i really like the gisu leave-in conditioner i'm obsessed with that and then i love the way detox shampoo because i've been working out a lot more recently and it's just really good on getting all the oil out because that's the thing is like when you have extensions working out can just be a lot because you want to make sure that the tapins can slip if you are not being careful with you know how you maintain your hair like you want to make sure that your hair is kind of very clean but like the ends are moisturized you know what i mean i love taping extensions i've been using it for two and a half years another thing that you guys wanted to know was just how do i juggle being busy and how do i juggle like working and it's funny because i actually felt as if when i moved into the city i was like go 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 i didn't have a second to think and especially now being in like a serious relationship you have to balance a lot so i have to balance like my love life i have to balance you know my social life i have to balance my work life and like i actually really enjoy balancing these things because it kind of gives me more of a routine so the way i balance it is like for example like I love working out every day and I'll carve out like my mornings for me. So in the morning I'll work out, I'll go to core power, I'll go to moto yoga. I think just hot yoga in general is like really my thing. I make my coffee and then I go into emails and then I go into like work mode all day. And it's great because my boyfriend literally wakes up at 6 30 so he kind of trained me to be a morning person which i'm so grateful for because i used to be like oh i don't want to wake up and you know what's funny is like in the industry when you kind of like work for yourself you have to make sure that you make a routine and like i always had a routine but i think even when i lived back in la it was more so like wake up like okay not really sure what to do or you know what i mean like you didn't really have like a carved routine where it's like you're sticking to it i'm really now sticking to a routine and it's really been great for just balancing my whole like individual like personal life a lot of you guys relationship advice and how long have you been with your boyfriend i've been with my boyfriend for a year and i've been into some serious stuff in the past but nothing like this and a lot of people ask just relationship advice in general and how to know if it's your person and how to like incorporate it in like how to balance you know work and how to balance relationship and how to like still be you and i'm gonna be fully transparent because i'm always transparent with you guys and i would think at the beginning of my relationship i kind of lost sight of my mojo if that makes sense because i was like i think it happens in any sort of relationship you get so attached and you like are like oh my god like this person this person and then you kind of lose sight of your mojo and then my biggest advice is to always put yourself first putting yourself first is so important your partner is supposed to be your number one fan and i'm so grateful to be in a relationship where my boyfriend is literally pushing me sometimes you should go to this event and I'm like, no, I'm tired. Like, ah, uh, like, I don't know if I can. And he's like, you should go to this event. Like, having someone that pushes you out of your comfort zone when you know, like, you can do it, but like, you know, individually, you're like, oh, like, you know, not that it's laziness, but you're just kind of like drained. Having someone that pushes you is just like another big advice that I have. Another update that I have that I want to talk about my family. And I am going on a trip very soon with my mom and my two sisters. And 
think I'm obsessed with my mom and my sisters. Obviously, I'm obsessed with my dad too. <laughs> but like, it's funny because like, whenever we go on a girls' trip, it's just so special. And we kind of have made it a tradition now where we like go on girls' trips when it's like our graduation or like a birthday. And my younger sister's graduating from high school, and my middle sister is turning 21. So it's gonna be a really exciting trip, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be vlogging everything, and I'm not sharing where we're going quite yet, which I will soon but we are going to a very tropical place and I'm so excited because I'm gonna be doing some videos for my sisters because I know you guys want to kind of know more about my family so we're gonna do some fun stuff when we go on our trip I'm really excited honestly I feel like I need like a family vacay you know like I haven't had a family vacay in a minute and it just sounds like the perfect time to do it too and family in general is a huge huge part of my life and a huge part of like what I adore and like really my driving factor there's nothing like family and you know not every family situation is perfect at all I, you know i've had my fair share of you know tough times back in high school which we can go into that another at another time if you guys are curious to hear more about you know my high school stories and all of that a lot of you guys asked how to be confident I think that was really important to be confident is to believe in yourself i've talked about your own self-worth a lot in this update video and i think that that's a huge factor is who are you like how do you better this world how can you you know be in a community and like help out and like all these different things and I think that to be confident is just to be happy with yourself and to know your potential and to push yourself with that potential. I go through a lot of down sometimes, especially around my period, which my boyfriend's like, he calls it PP, pre-period. That's when I have my low lows. That's like the days that I'm like not as active on social or something, I have my PP. I used to be insecure back in high school. That's a whole nother story for my high school story time. I got to a certain point where my mom was like, why do you care? Like, who cares? You're gonna look back three years later or whatever years later, and you're gonna be like, why was I so pressed on it, on this situation? What did I dwell on what people thought? Who gives a fuck when it comes to your style, when it comes to what you do, when it comes to your career, any little thing, like who cares? Thank you guys so much for the support all the time it just means the world to me every single day i wake up and i'm like i know i have a group of besties that are just always on my side and i want to say thank you thank you thank you and i appreciate you guys so much i can't wait for the moving content that's gonna be goo and it's gonna be amazing we're gonna go through everything together we're gonna pick up furniture together we're gonna pack together we're gonna do everything together this is my final look i will put everything in the bio of what i used I hope you guys have an amazing day or weekend or whenever you guys are watching this and hit a like and subscribe if you're new and I love you guys so much.